Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on the most important Minecraft commands. If you host a server, it's important to know what commands are available at your disposal. There's a number of different ones that can be very helpful and some that kind of never really get used if we're being honest. So today we're going over the most important ones and the ones that you should know. The most important Minecraft commands. This is arguably the most important Minecraft command, and that's slash help. Help will help you find out anything you need to know about every other command that's available, whether that's the vanilla stuff or non-vanilla stuff. For example, if I do slash help MC MMO, which I run on my server, it'll show me the help commands for that plugin specifically. If I want to check one specific command and what it does, like time, then it'll help me with that as well. So help is super important. Next is slash message, and then you can put a name in and then your message, although I recommend having somebody to message instead of yourself. Next is slash seed. This is all stuff that can be done without being opt and can be very helpful. Finding your seed is super easy with this command. Next is, well, slash op. This is how you get the power to have stronger commands if you don't already have them. All you have to do is type in the name of the person you want to op, and if you want to de-op somebody, then all you have to do is put slash de-op, and then that person's name. Now that you have some more power, let's take a look at some other commands, like slash weather. If you are tired of the rain and you don't want it anymore, then you can do slash weather clear. Or in my case, I wanted to add some, so I did slash weather thunder. That will make the thunder appear. Slash locate is super helpful, but the two that you're gonna use the most are slash structure and biome. If you do locate structure, you can type in any structure you want, such as a mansion, and it'll give you the exact coordinates to the closest one. From here, you can actually just click on it to teleport right to it. Same goes for locate biome. If you're looking for a specific biome that you can't find, it's very helpful to have this command. Next is slash time. If you like it to be daytime all the time, then you can just do slash time set day. It's very simple. Next is slash game mode. This is how you change between survival and creative if you're an admin, but you also wanna play on your server without having to cheat. The next one we're gonna take a look at is slash difficulty. Speaking of whether you wanna play regularly or not, it might be helpful to know if your game is on easy mode or on hard mode. Next is slash game rule, and you may see a long list of different rules here, but it's for things like keep inventory, for example. If you set this to true, then it'll be true that you do not lose stuff when you die. The next command we're gonna take a look at is slash ban. As a server owner, you might need to ban somebody if they are causing some trouble on your server. And if you do slash ban name and then the reason, then it bans them, no problem. If you want to unban that person for whatever reason, then you just do slash pardon. In our opinion, these might be just the most important commands that are very basic. Conclusion. Yes, there may be a bunch of other commands that are out there, but in reality, you may not need more than just these few. If you happen to like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content you like to see. Until next time. Huh.